Well, the Bill of Rights is a stumbling block on the way to shutting down speech that the left doesn't like, at least in government. But there's a new avenue for those who would like to censor what you say and think, and that's corporations. The left have wised up to this. If you want to stop someone from telling the truth, use companies to do it, the social media giants, and they are. So far, the most prominent casualty of the crusade against free expression has been the radio show host Alex Jones. But are we smart to think censorship will stop with him? Mark Penn is a former advisor to Bill Clinton. He is a liberal who still believes in the free exchange of ideas, and he joins us tonight. So thank you, Mark, for coming on. So I'm fascinated by the Alex Jones story because, because it was Alex Jones. Almost no conservatives rose to his defense because the idea was, well, Alex Jones, ew, yuck. But it's not really about Alex Jones, is it? It's about the idea that companies can make it impossible for your voice to be heard. Is that a precedent we should be comfortable with? Well, I, I really think you have to be worried about big tech becoming big brother. Yes. Because these used to be neutral platforms that said, we're open to free expression, that's our core value. And now they've said, well, not so much with particularly Facebook hiring 10,000 new censors on top of another 10,000 and having roving censoring bots looking for content. Look, I never read Alex Jones, but here's somebody with millions of followers, publicly accountable for his speech, operating within Supreme Court standards, yanked from the media. That's a surprise to me. That says that these platforms are no longer as open as they presented themselves to be. And it's, and it's, and it's not just him. There, there are many like him who've been yanked, lesser known, but still. So this has political implications. You ran and managed campaigns for so long. This must have occurred. A lot of our political debate takes place on social media platforms. So if they clamp down on one side of the debate, why wouldn't that influence an election's outcome? Well, obviously, it could have a big influence on elections, increasingly because where people turn for their news is that they look at the news feeds that are run by the major social media companies. And so they're more powerful than any TV station, more powerful than Fox. Yes, they right? are. Because of the amount of time that people spend. And it's a funnel. So if you're not at the top, you don't get seen. And so in the past, they had some neutral ways of doing this, but now they've increasingly applied still more mysterious algorithms plus individual censors. And remember, they're private platforms, they say, so they're not, they're not actually subject to the First Amendment unless we get some legislation here that says free speech is an Internet right. It's totally meaningless. If I own a toll road, I can't say anyone of a certain race can't drive on my toll road. And so they're not actually fully private companies. We have a public interest, I would say, in keeping them free and open. Why aren't, if you cared about the integrity of our elections, why isn't Congress acting? I don't know why Congress isn't acting. Part of it is because to stand up to a social media company means you could have five million people on your doorstep the next day. So I think there's been a lot of intimidation in Congress instead of bipartisan agreement that, hey, we cannot have this kind of regulation of speech where whoever runs one of the big platforms can pick out speech, which speech goes and which speech doesn't. Not when they've been exempted from the libel laws, when they've been set up as open platforms, and they now become media companies instead. And that's exactly what's happened. They become media companies that take ads on the media that they run, and they have editors and algorithms and bots that run it. I, I really believe that 10 years from now, this segment, what you just said, will be seen as, as prescient. I, mean, I think it's a big story that's being ignored by virtually everyone for reasons I don't fully understand. Maybe you're right, it's cowardice, but it shouldn't be. Mark Penn, thank you for that. Thank you.